lesson is inspired by Faith Ringgold and her storytelling quilts. You're going to need this piece of paper that you can um, print out a dice, ruler, pencil, sharpie marker, and of course something to color with like markers or crayons and a piece of white paper to make your artwork on. Get your materials and let's get started. So we're beginning with our ruler. We're setting our ruler on the edge to make a border for our story quilt. Repeating on the other side, I, again, I line my ruler up all the way to the edge of the paper. I have to hold it strong with my hand in the middle so it doesn't wobble and get away from me because the point of using a ruler is to make a straight line or measure stuff. And we're using the width of our ruler here for our quilt border. At the top, lining it up, holding in the middle, and trace. Down at the bottom, lining it up, holding it in the middle, and trace. So now I have a border here, and you can already see I have a square in each corner. I'm going to take my ruler and move it down and make squares just in the border. Those squares are going to be the patterns that I play with my game here. So, having my ruler lined up, moving it down, lining it up with my last line, holding that ruler, moving it down, and so I've created squares for a different pattern along my vertical sections. I'm going to repeat for my horizontal sections, lining up my ruler against this vertical line, holding in the middle. I just need to make the line at the top of the border and the bottom of the border. The middle is going to be our story quilt, something that you want to share and draw, and we'll talk about that in a little bit. So now that I have my squares, I'm gonna take my Sharpie marker and I'm gonna outline my border. Okay, so all my squares for my quilt are outlined in my black Sharpie marker, and I am going to get my Rolla Masterpiece Faith Ring Gold quilt, and I'm gonna take my dice and roll. I got a two. So when I look at the two, I can pick design one, design two, three, four, or five, and draw that. And you can draw it right in Sharpie, or go ahead and color it. And I'm gonna pick a square to do that. And I'm gonna work on this one right here. Design five. Let's see how many different designs we can get on our quilt today. Okay, rolling again. This time I got a one. Looking at design one, of course I'm gonna select those hearts. Rolling again, design number five, right here, and I'm gonna pick this one with a diagonal. And I'm gonna keep going using this worksheet to come up with different lines and shapes and patterns around the quilt. If you can't print this out or you didn't have this worksheet, you can come up with your own patterns. really fun way for me to come up with some patterns. Sometimes I, my brain can't think of a lot of different patterns and I get stuck repeating the same one. So I really encourage you to use this because it's fun and it kind of picks it for you and takes the worry out of it. Now that I have my patterns around my story quilt border, inside I want to use my 
quilt to tell a story. Faith Ringgold was a great storyteller. She actually wrote over 16 children's books and writing was a great influence in her artwork as well. So we want to tell a story in our picture today. It could be something that you did, um, something that you want to do. So you could draw a picture of your family. You could get as creative as you would like. In my picture, I am going to have us, and I'm gonna start in pencil so I can erase my mistakes. I'm gonna have us on the beach and I'm gonna have some towels laid out. And I'm gonna have an umbrella. And I'm gonna have the water over here. So it's like we're looking down. And then right here on the towel, I'm going to be laying down so when I'm drawing people I always like to think of simple shapes so I've got my legs our feet our arms and our hands this is Mr. Samsel laying on the beach with his sun shirt and his shorts and his hair, his eyebrows. Let's give him some shades because it's sunny, right? So I'm gonna make a little line with the sunglasses, his nose and he's smiling. And there's a shirt. So you've got Mr. Samsel laying on the beach and now Mrs. Samsel. So there's my head and my neck and I'm gonna have a sundress on. Just keeping simple, simple shapes for my people. I've got my hair tied up because it's a breezy day. My ears, my sunglasses on. My nose and my smile. Now I can draw a beach ball maybe. Think of some fun stuff we like to do in the summer because we're looking forward to some fun. Now I'm gonna outline it and color it. I can't wait to see what you come up with. It could be maybe a favorite sport that you like to play, maybe a um, fun adventure you took going camping um, or out with your family, maybe something that happened over a holiday Remember, the story quilt is telling a story about you. So maybe it's something as simple as things you like to do. Now that I have everything outlined in Sharpie, I have my simple idea of spending a glorious day on the beach catching some sun and enjoying the ocean waves. I'm gonna use a combination of crayons and markers to color my picture.
boys and girls, I have colored some bright, bold patterns around my story quilt and inside telling a story about how Mr. Samsel and Mrs. Samsel love traveling and going to the beach. I can't wait to hear what your story is. As always, thanks for creating art with me. I'll see you next time.